Um, today, I'm taking a break from crypto videos. I'm talking about something serious, semi-serious. It's not very serious, but it's semi-serious. Anyways, regarding the topic of Halloween, you know what? I thought I'd talk about it because it's a little interesting. You know, the things, the holidays or the festivals that we, you know, hold in our lives. I think it marks something important, you know. It's kind of a reflection of the culture and society as a whole. Um, I think people could agree with that. So, you know, what is Halloween? Kids dress up as these, I don't know, I don't want to say like demons, but they dress up as like these characters. We'll say characters. They dress up as these characters, they run around and they get candy. Okay. But what are the origins, origins of like Halloween and the characters that they dress up as, right? So, um, shining light on it actually is very anti-Christ and paganistic. Like, when you look at the stories in the Bible and what paganism is, and, you know, how evil it is, and why it destroys culture and society, it's a form of, like, fantasy or fiction or fairy tale, right? It's not reality. It's not in touch with us. So when you look at like witches and warlocks and um, skeletons, skeletons and vampires, like witches and warlocks, there's actually real life people who practice witchcraft and practice magic and they actually do those things like through a satanic practice, right? So those subjects, you know, when people think that, oh, it's just like kids having fun, you know, let them have fun. They're just dressing up as characters. They don't know, you know, and like, okay, that's ignorant because they don't know. They're putting on a persona that it's not actually them. They think they're a superhero. It's like, no, you're not actually a superhero. And, and plus, redefine what a superhero is, right? Is it someone who's dressed up and is big and strong and can lift things and like, um, I don't know, you know, defined as like someone who is saving people? But it's not through saving like the physical action right it's more about saving the soul and like that's a true hero someone who is able to save someone and pull them towards god and like the truth right so it goes so much deeper into like the spiritual realm right and you know what do people do on halloween they usually dress well at least women do dress pretty provocative that's not even um you know that's not even a I don't know, a masculine thing to say. I mean, that's pretty out there. I think women would agree with that. Um, so, you know, when you, you analyze it to the T, it's a lot of, so like people dress up as these wicked spirits, right? Like a witch or a wizard or a vampire or a skeleton, right? But they don't realize that those wicked spirits are actually real, right? If there's good spirits, there's also wicked spirits, you know? We're on Middle Earth here. It's between heaven and hell. So when you want to do things like dress up in a character that is not actually you, it's a paganistic holiday. So every October 31st, Americans celebrate paganism. That's just the truth, okay? That's what it is. Obviously, it's not right in front of your face, but of course it's not going to be right in front of your face, okay? The devil is like a snake, right? Very sly, very sneaky. So if I offend anyone with this, like that's your problem. You have to, you have to face the truth, okay? You got to dress up as your costume tomorrow or, to, or whatever, and you have to go through it. You have to like party and you have to know that it's fucking not real, okay? It's actually an evil thing. All of it is. And I really don't care if people judge me for believing that or not participating because, you know, judge and you will be judged. Don't judge and you won't be judged. So it's not my fault Americans are a bunch of idiots, okay? <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like I feel bad for them too because they don't know, all right? They don't know. I didn't know my whole life. I participated, shit, until I was, I don't know. Trying to think about what I did last year on Halloween, I don't even remember. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not 
I'm not putting myself above nobody. It's not like that. But I'm just trying to educate. Okay? Don't follow the sheeple, you know? Um, and it, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, it's not a big deal. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, it is a big deal. When you're dressing your child as a demonic figure or a wicked spirit, like, it, it reflects your spiritual holiness and your, it's very, it's very um, critical in your life, you know? Because, you know, you live once, but you die. You're dead forever, right? And if, you, and if you die with Christ, you never die, right? So you live forever. So it's like the idea that what you practice in this world is so, and especially festivities and things like that, that's actually really important, especially for those who read the Bible. Like, they understand that, like, festivals are always, like, really big events in, you know, the Bible. Like, whether it's um, Passover, you know, um, yeah, basically like Passover and other festivals and things. But, you know, whenever um, characters would hold festivals, they would be big events and you have to be ritually clean for them. And, and, and it's like, it's just, it's, it's not that ritually clean and all that shit. It's not that important because like, you know, that's what we were told. It's just not that important. It's more important to be like a good person. But like things like paganistic festivals, you know, God doesn't make God happy, man. I'll tell you that much. Does not. No, no, no. All right. Peace.